uh, Prelude Before Part 3, I want to show you how to send me the files. Um, when you go to prototype your, um, your app, there's a destination folder that it's going into. This case is called Process Flow Demo. You can designate this to go into any uh, folder you want. Um, so once you, I'll close that, let me go to my finder, and I'm in the folder that uh, it was creating the, uh, actually let me go back one. Okay, this is the folder, prototypes folder is where it's putting the demo. And uh, let me close this up. It's a folder called process flow demo. That's the demo. I already created a zip file of it, but select that. And then compress or make a zip file out of it and send me that zip file, attach that zip file to the um, to the uh, Blackboard assignment attachment. What I can do is then I can download it, open it, and run it as a as a prototype little website on my own computer uh, to see how you did, see, to see how you did. So that's how to uh, send me the um, send me the, uh, the the what you come up with. So on to the demo. So I'm going to start the demo for the third part of the actual prototype um, demonstration. Uh, I realized in, in order to get to the point in my little prototype of selecting what uh, ride you want to see by height that um, I need to actually add another screen. So I'm going to change this one, just call it restrictions. And then I have to say what sorts of restrictions. So create a new box <coughs> um, and one might be what age and a third type of restriction not really restriction but but type is what intensity my terms might not be quite right here like I don't know but intense right intensity is a restriction certainly a guideline but anyways, for purposes of this, I'll just leave it by restriction. So now the person on by restrictions will choose what they want to learn if they want to see restrictions by height, age, or intensity. So let me modify this and I'll pause that modify and then come back. Okay, I'm back and I've modified my flow diagram a bit to kind of to be more reflective of, of the pages and the screens I'm going to build. So I've already built my iPhone home screen, my app home screen. This gray box uh, represents a screen which will show my choices by restrictions and now I've added what age, what height, what intensity. And then I'm going to pick, I'm going to demonstrate what height and this gray box indicates a page where I'm going to ask what height, 40 less than 42, 42 to 48, or greater than 48. From there based on the choice I'm going to go to a page for rides of this type, this type, and this type. And finally, you can select one of those rides to show the ride detail down here. So this kind of clarifies. It's taken my process flow diagram, which is more abstract, and starting to make it more concrete in terms of reflecting what uh, actual pages or screens, I should say, I have to make. So let me move on and start uh, making some of these pages. Okay, so I've made uh, some changes uh, since the last demo and the way this looks, trying to clean it up and make it a little bit different, we'll make it a little better. My theme park home, I uh, made the background a little gray. I've dressed up um, my app header here, and remember I did that just by uh, changing the app header master element, and that automatically updated all the pages that had that element on it. Um, I've created a, so this is my find by, so remember on my flow diagram, find by restrictions, and that's what this page is, height, age, and intensity. And then I will, all um, well, this theme park home, find by location, restrictions, theme, I added these two. We're going to go to restrictions, which it does, and find by restrictions, age, height, intensity created a new page called find by height because that's where I want to go after I click the height button which is blank so I'm going to go back to find by restrictions I'm just going to 
copy the whole thing, go here, and the nice thing about Xure is it pasted it in place so I know it'll line up uh, going from one screen to the next when I do flip through my um, prototype output. So if I'm by height, now I'm going to just change these words to find to, to this word to height. And then I got to change these to the heights. Now I think I'll have them all the same color, make them all yellow. So I'll just, and because I want these to line up from page to page, let's just take this down here. There. Nudge it over. One more. There we go. I'm just going to slide this to the side. Get that one out from back of there. Get that out from back of there. Bring this over. Line it up. Can we pause and get this set up and then I'll come back? Okay, I've got my find by height page set up. Now I want to be able to link from my find by restrictions page to the find by height. So remember that this actually is a combination of a couple objects here. So in order for this to work correctly as a button, I'm just going to go back to my wireframe, image map location. It's at the right height, put it over, click on the click, open link in current window, find by height, hit OK, save, let's go test it out. iPhone home, theme park review. Find by restrictions, find by height, and that's where I left off. Okay, now I'm going to move on and create my um, list of, of, of rides that are available if I click less than 42 or any of them. I'll create a generic ride list page. Okay, so I've created my uh, generic uh, ride list page, generic ride list page. This is for rides less than 42 inches back to less than uh, go back to my find by height page create my uh, image map location so we've got that link going another link that I added on my app header was to uh, actually go back to the theme park review homepage. I also got a back button here so I can get back to the um, select by height. So this is two elements, one on top of the other. So once I get, I'll grab my image map or uh, location region. Like in this case, I just want to go back to my find by height page because that's where I came from. Okay. Let's test this. Theme park home, by restrictions, by height, less than 42 inches. Let's test the back button, find by height. Let's test this, go back to theme park review home screen, and that's working as well. Good, so let's uh, move on and create my detail page and my other two uh, height pages. Okay, I'm back on my um, rides for less than 42 inches page, my list. Uh, and I need to create two more pages for the other two heights. And a little trick, if I go here, and my pull down for uh, that page in the sitemap is duplicate page. And I'll do that once more.
and I'll just and I'll just change the name here. Okay, and I'll pause and get everything set up. Okay, I've got my three rides here, and I just have to go in and three ride list. So this is the ride list 42 to 48. So I'll just change this 42 to 48 inches. Ride list for. Okay. And then, uh, so I've got my three. Less than 42, 42 to 48, greater than 48. And now all I have to do is uh, go here and link up these other buttons. So give me a moment, I'll take care of that. Okay, so I've linked up uh, my three height types indicated by this little flag, one, two, three. And uh, so there's 42, 48, greater than 48. I created a ride detail page. In this case, it's a ride that's less than 42 inches. Um, if I go back here now, I'm going to, uh, that will go to that ride detail. I have this back button here because I'm one page ahead of the sequence. We'll go back to the uh, four, less than 42 inch ride list. I pulled in a little map from my, from my uh, um, iPhone UI um, widgets. Uh, this little table was made actually from the um, wireframe widgets, um, and so is this text. And that pretty much wraps up the pieces I'm going to put together. Let's do a quick uh, demonstration, see if it's working. So I go to I'll save it, go to prototype, output, generate, and here it is. Let's go to my home page, iPhone home. Go here, let's go back to the home page. Let's, let's find by restrictions. I'm interested in height, um, less than 42 inches. Uh, let's see what this ride is like. Oh, that's kind of ride is neat. Let's go back and look at some other rides. Let's try this one and go back. Now I could make this very, you know, I could get very complicated with this. I mean, every action could be manageable. Um, I could have a link to this other ride name here. Uh, I could uh, link to other ages, other heights. Uh, I could link to rides of for all ages here and move around that way. So you're going to have a lot of different paths. Um, uh, and you could take it as far as you want in terms of accounting for every possible action. Um, uh, for the sake of time, I didn't make this app look exactly the way it look, would look using the Apple iOS, iOS 5 guidelines, iOS guidelines. Um, in, the, in the iOS developer library, which the link is on the module, let me just get this in here so we can see it. Everything you need to know in terms of the way it should look is there. Um, in terms of uh, how to play list and so forth, and and in terms of the background, whether it's side on the gray or the full width, so forth. And to the extent you make it as much like an iPhone app as possible, the better. You can also do a search for um, in Google for iPhone app screens see what comes up go to images and lots of iPhone apps and so you can see the different ways that images and text and things are displayed in terms of what the uniform standards are for instance if I click on this one here Or click on this one here. Little Facebook app. 
see the way that they're set up. Or let's see, let's find one, someone text. Here's a good one from a dig site, how it's set up in terms of some conventions and so forth. So that's that's a good way to kind of see how the conventions that are used in terms of doing these apps. And I would emulate those. So that's the end of the uh, th third part of the demo. Uh, try to have fun with this. Um, it can get complicated in terms of arranging the various directions and permutations of your choices. Try to account for all the all the choices that would be possible in your in your flow diagram. Uh, have fun with it. I look forward to see what everyone does.